and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Udinese up against Juventus. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's how it looks for Udinese. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair, but they need to dominate that central area. And the old lady of Italian football going with this starting 11. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Juan Cuadrado starts with Filip Kostic on the flanks. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And now they get the ball rolling. Vraovic, he's in with a chance. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. They know they need to stop him. In with a chance. Superb stop. Juventus have given it away. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player. But it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Poor pass under no real pressure. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Juventus. Not the best challenge, free kick. An important interception. Bremer. It is advantage Juve. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? But timely defending when it mattered. Wallace. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. Rodrigo Becao. 
and a tidy tackle Rabio he read the situation defensively and did his job Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Firing it in. It's still alive. And I think the threat has been averted. They're making high pressing work for them here. Real chance. And quite simply, a wonderful chance was squandered. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Di Maria. Moving forward effectively. Rabiot. A goal! 1-0! A fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And back underway, 1-0 it is. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage Juventus. Perfect challenge. Danilo. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. This could be dangerous. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. A sloppy pass. And he might be through here. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Played over. Now it still could be dangerous. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. An interceptor there. Now, who can he play it to? A fine reading of the situation. Di Maria might be a chance here and it's come off the keeper well threat averted not to be advised giving the ball away there a easy boy really getting stuck in So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. And foul it is then. 
Determined defending. Big chance to get them on terms. And a fine stop. Corner kick played in. Not all that convincing defensively. The high press paying dividends again and again. And there it is, the half-time whistle. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Difficult to stop him. The supporters want to see him have a go. Good stop from the keeper. And there's the delivery, and the danger's still on. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Splendid tackle, and a throw-in coming up. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Went in strongly, decisively. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Firing it towards goal. Well, closed down straight away. Vlaovic. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. And they will make the change now. Oh, the keeper at fault. What can they do to stop him running at them? Able to get a body in the way. Intense pressure. A very effective challenge put in. And into the last 30 minutes now. And the ball back with Juve now. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. A superbly executed high press yet again. Beto. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Oh, 
Quadrado. Locatelli. Now Quadrado. Di Maria. Can he put it away? Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's what they're doing. But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Di Maria keeps going. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And the Juventus personnel change here. Beto. And the emphasis is on creativity. A well, disappointing end to the move. Just 15 minutes remaining. Couldn't hang on to it. Success. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, you could sense the fans really wanted him to shoot, and he didn't need a second invitation. Well, it was the right option, but he should be hitting the target there. That was a decent opening for him. Just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Nicely timed tackle. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, offside by the merest of margins. Went in strongly to win the ball. The high press paying dividends again and again. Juve throw in forthcoming. Failure to keep the ball by the Bianconeri. Danilo. Bremer. Locatelli with it. Paredes, well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Pereira. Magnificent defending. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, no getting away from the fact that Adrien Rabiot has been simply superb, Stuart.
Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.